show tonight. And you all had some uh, really interesting uh, presentations today. And uh, the, the thing that, you know, what we did was kind of, and we kind of, from, from when I got here, we kind of ratcheted down a little bit. And uh, uh, you, you mentioned that if someone makes, if, if you and me go out and, and make a $50 mistake on something, that, that okay, we'll, we'll, we can slide through that. But at, at, at the levels that we work with, a $50 mistake it is, is a really a, a big deal. Uh, I offer people uh, uh, rent reductions and all kinds of, of uh, economic uh, benefit if they quit smoking. I got, you know, people get $700 a month and, and they're addicted to smoke. And, and some of them are chain smokers. There's, you know, and, um, and a lot of that's clinical. Yeah, so that's, so I said, look, go get yourself into a program, buy in, show me the receipts from your train, and I'll pay for it. So we're, we're offering that, that uh, whatever we can do, but you can imagine what, uh, what you know, what we know it. Uh, tobacco costs now, what happened in the last couple of years, the price of it went way up, how it throws off their budget, it's bizarre. We had one guy who was a veteran, and, and uh, actually two of them, two guys that were veterans, they got into a, a veterans, uh, the VA sponsored a, a smoking cessation clinic, and if they got through it, they get 200 bucks. And uh, one guy right now, well, both of them, had, one guy stopped completely, the other guy uh, off and on, but uh, uh, the one guy's telling me he's saving $150 a month, he's only making $750, you know, so it's, it, that's huge. So what would you do if all of a sudden, on your monthly cash flow, uh, you you ended up <laughs> saving 20% of your income? And all of a sudden, well, you know, that's that's smart, that's huge. So, uh, from the examples that you heard today, and from our example about how key a permanent place to live is, uh, it it really I think hammers home uh, the work that you're doing. So so go back and. and and uh, uh, do more. And, and even though they take, they give you less to do it with, just, just keep doing more. It, uh, hopefully, uh, uh, the political will and consciousness that, that uh, seems to ebb and flow will come back the other way where, where funding will be restored, where tax levels will be much more reasonable, and there'll be job creation where people will get, can get back to work and that we then we can start to uh, uh, dismiss all, all the outrageous conversations that's going on and even at the highest levels the policymakers at the highest levels are clearly many of them pandering to a very small group of of, of people that you don't ever want to turn your back on let's let's face it there's some people in this country that you got to keep your eye on all the damn time because they'll take whatever you got and and not and and if you need help they'll just kick you aside we don't need those folks we don't need those those folks that have any kind of political influence and we got to stop that so uh, the work that you, that you all are doing is important and unfortunately you're just gonna have to do it a little bit harder and smarter and get as efficient as you can and uh, remember who you're working for. This is serious business. We got we got people dying if they we don't help them. It comes down to that, doesn't it? Yeah.